The output of the four amplifier channels can be routed to the output connectors in different ways. Some applications require completely independent outputs. Others, such as the use of two-way active loudspeakers, require the assignment of two amplifier outputs to different pins of the same connector. On the output panel, this different pin setting is permanently given by two additional output connectors. They are labeled Mix Two-Way Active. To configure the DSP accordingly, you first need to set the two-way active output mode. On the home screen, tap the device name to access the device setup menu. Now tap Output on the right to open the output mode screen. The output mode is always set for a pair of channels. Three different output modes are available. In dual channel mode, the processing of the respective channels is completely independent. This output mode is suitable for all D&B loudspeakers that can be driven by a single amplifier channel. Just connect them with a 4-core cable to the respective individual output and you are good to go. When a pair of channels is set to mix top sub mode, only top setups may be selected for the first channel and only sub setups for the second channel of the pair. On the mix two-way output connector, pins 1 plus minus carry the output of the first channel, pins 2 plus minus that of the second channel. With one 4-core cable plugged into the two-way mix output, you can connect a stack of tops and subs and link them all through. The pin assignment delivers the right signal to the right box. Please note that this will not work for loudspeakers that can be driven in passive or two-way active mode, such as the MAX, M4 and M6 stage monitors. For these cabinets, always use the individual channel outputs and a 4-core cable. For two-way active loudspeakers, such as the SL series or the M2 stage monitors, the two-way active output mode has to be selected for the desired pair of amplifier channels. In this case, use the respective two-way mix output connector. You will also find that the GUI only shows one combined set of controls for both channels.